these sunglasses are a little too edgy, to be honest with you. In this episode, we're gonna teach you how to build a wood handrail for your deck. To start off, you gotta figure out what material you're gonna use. We use these simple spindles. These are 42 inch spindles, which you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's. You go right up against your stairs, put your first screw in the bottom. So I go about one inch from the bottom, just so we don't split our wood and go flush up with the bottom of your deck. Before you put your second screw in, you wanna make sure you're level. And I go just below the top portion of the deck. And that should be level. Yes, sir. In this application, we're gonna spice things up a little bit. Instead of going just with your, with your three and a half or three and seven eighths between each spindle, we're gonna make it look a little nicer. Use a three and a half inch spacer, which I've already cut to width. We're gonna put it up to our, our last spindle, flush up at the bottom, throw our screw in, I'm gonna use the width of a spindle for our next piece. So, put my spindle in there. Flush up at the bottom. It's pretty easy, you kinda of eyeball your width to make sure you're kinda of keeping on, on track. Throw your screw in. Nice little trick is once you've set all your, all your boards in, Go and put your second screw in after. Just the first couple I put the second screw in just to kind of set my, my plumb. You just keep on carrying through, use your three and a half inch spacer and keep going. I'm gonna sacrifice one of these, they're only a dollar each, just so then I have uh, a nice size spacer because it's too friggin' awkward. Now, if you're working by yourself, you want to save a little bit of time. It's easier than kind of balancing your screws and the, and the boards. Just, just go set your bottom screw in all the way in all your boards. Then you can rock and roll. And now we're about to do the prep on our stairs. So what I like to do is I start by putting my first spindle right along the outside edge of the stairs, make a mark. And my first spindle is just gonna go inside that mark. So I set it down. Put my first screw in. So because this is leveled, we've already leveled our stairs. We take this board that's gonna be our top rail, place it in, draw a line there. Then what we do is we bring the board down to the edge of our stringer like that. And you take your pencil and you mark the backside of, your, of one of your spindles here. And what that does is that gives you the top, your top rail perfectly to where it needs to be. There's mathematical ways of figuring out that angle, but I'm just a simple guy and that's the way I like to do it. So set your saw, play with it till you get the right angle. What I do is I mark two inches and that line gets drawn across. You just take your square and mark that line 
This isn't the best practice of what you're supposed to do, but I've been doing it my whole life. You put your angle against your back fence. Make your cut. Now when we put our top board in, the cap for our beer holder, it's gonna sit perfectly flush on the top there. Once you get your first one, just trace the second one, just like stairs. So this piece is gonna get screwed in to the top here. We're gonna screw in there. So because I went an inch and a quarter at the bottom, I used another spacer. You just bump it until you're perfectly an inch and a quarter. You put your screw in. Great, that looks like crap. A good way of checking that your, your top rail is done properly, you take your tape and you run it on an angle with your straight, so it's coming at a right angle, your, your top rail. So I'm 24 and a quarter. You measure down here, I'm 24. So this end has to come up a quarter of an inch. All right, so I like to have all my spindles shooting from the top down. You see how this one isn't quite at the top? So what I'll do is I'll start from the stairs and work it down. And I'll do just the same spacings I did before, so. Now what we're doing, this last spindle, Basically, we head it down, and the rest of them you see are up nice and flush there. So we'll just pull this out, and we'll use this as our guide, bring this up perfect, and then we're done. So when it comes to the other side, just mirror what you've done on that side. Rock and roll. Another nice part about leveling your outside spindles is when it comes to putting the cap on, your measurement from the bottom is the same as your measurement from the top. So obviously we have the same amount of wood purchase here. So 23 and 3 eighths. So 23 and 3 eighths gives us our top piece. Push up. This one. Now you can either leave your deck like that, but what I like to do is I like to put a cap on the top so you can have a drink holder or something. So see so your cap on the top, measure from your stairwell to the inside. So I've got 103 and 5 16 Then we're gonna miter it so then it comes nicely together. 103 and 5 16 there's either a butt joint where it butts in or a miter joint where you cut two angles, say if it's a 90, 245, then it comes together. We're doing 90s. 8, 96, 120, 12, 144. Let's see, I'm just grab my drill. What I do is I flush it up all the way along. You'll see I keep working it down. But when I get close to the end, I leave it. I go about two feet from the end without screwing it. So when it comes time to putting my other miter in, I still have a little bit of play. So when you're measuring your miter, you measure to the inside of your edge. So I pull it to where it needs to be. That's 121 and 7 eighths. I, pull, I screw my miter together first, and then I pull this into place. Actually screw the miter together. By doing this, you're locking it in place. Pull it to where it needs to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set that screw we held off on. Now that our miter's set, and we're perfectly flush there. Luck of the draw, I guess.
same as the other one. It's freaking one of those. Down to the line. Actually, is that the right way? Or is it this one? That's the right way. It's perfect. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm good there. Okay. So there you have it. Your handrail completed. For a recap, we put our first spindles in, leveled them up, use our spacers, keep checking with the level, only put one screw in on all the rest of them. When you put your top boards in, same thing. Level them up, level your outside, screw them, level your middle, screw them, use your spacers. When you put your miters together for your top board, make sure you screw your miter, pull everything into place, and that's how you put together a good looking deck. You give that a shake, it's not going anywhere. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Happy deck building.